a nurse places a healthy baby next to a dying twin, and what happened left everyone speechless. A nurse places a healthy baby next to her dying twin, and what happens next proves that God exists, a true miracle that would leave everyone with their mouths open and tears in their eyes. Long before everything happened, she was a high school girl, like all the other girls, trying to survive everything, to get to college and become a successful professional. Her parents had educated her to become a dentist because it was also their profession, and they were doing so well that it seemed logical that their daughter would continue with the legacy. After all this way, she would not miss anything because they had already walked the path of effort and sacrifice, and now their daughter would not have to go through any of that. Catalina was also convinced that this would be her destiny, that after graduating and starting to work with her parents, she would find a good man with whom to share the rest of her life and who would agree with her in one of her most important convictions, that of not having children. Although she liked children, and they usually got along well with her, Catalina was convinced that children were not her thing. She did not want to lose her freedom, but more than that, she did not want to see a loved one suffer in a world in which it was increasingly difficult to survive, and she did not lack anything, nor would her son lack anything if this were to happen, but she did not want it. When she arrived at the university, she would also realized that having everything can sometimes be counterproductive. She had to live alone for the first time, and although she could have an apartment in the city for herself, she had no one to cook for her, clean her house, and wash her clothes for a while. She paid someone to do it all. But then she realized that she was spending too much money, not only on that but on her lifestyle, with daily outings with her friends and shopping for clothes, jewelry, and perfumes. So she had to choose between her social life and her private life, and she preferred to keep her social life intact. So she had to learn by force to cook, to do housekeeping, and to turn on a washing machine to pay her bills, and to be aware of the dates so that no payment was due. And she had being an adult for the first time. And that was when she realized the fact that her parents had never taught her to fend for herself, and had put everything on a silver platter was the reason why now everything seemed so complicated and sacrificed. She also realized that if it was so hard for her to take care of herself, it would be twice as hard if she had to take care of someone else, which only reinforced her desire not to have children. She decided to avoid pregnancy at all costs and underwent surgery to tiger fallopian tubes, even though she took care of herself all the time as if she was fertile every day of the month and required the same care from her partners. She was about to graduate as a dentist, and she had already started working with her parents. By that time, she had a boyfriend with whom she had been in a relationship for a year. He was a boy whom Catalina's parents adored because he was extremely friendly, came from a good family, and had expressed his intention to marry Catalina since he met her. He had his apartment in a brand new family business that would make their daughter even more comfortable than they did, and that made them happy. Plus, he seemed sincerely in love, so there was nothing more he could ask of life. However, Catalina, who had decided children so long ago, had never taken the time to talk sincerely with her boyfriend about the subject. He knew that his girlfriend did not want to have children, and neither did he. But he had never delved into the matter because he agreed with her not to have children at that time, and he believed that she thought the same way, but instead, he left the door open for the future. Several years later, he did not know that Catalina was talking about never having children until the night he asked her to marry him. Just minutes after she had accepted his proposal, the subject suddenly came up, and he told her that it would be ideal for them to have a child between 30 and 35 years old. And then she surprised him by saying that she did not want children either at 30 or at 35 or ever, and that upset him in a way that no one had imagined and blinded by anger. He took her by force without any precaution, wishing that she would get pregnant right there. And now, Catalina's body was battered and her heart was broken, and as soon as she could she ran to her parents' house. Although she didn't tell them anything, they assumed she had argued with her boyfriend and hesitated to let it happen the next day. When he came to pick her up, however, they didn't think it was anything serious and didn't want their daughter to miss the opportunity to be with such a nobleman. So they let him in to talk to her. To Catalina's surprise, he spoke to her as if nothing had happened and asked her if they were going to tell their parents at once that they were getting married, 
or if she would prefer to wait a while to announce the engagement formally. She could not believe her ears. She told him that after what he had done the night before, there was not the slightest possibility of them getting married and threw him out of the house amid tears and screams. When he left, she told her parents the whole truth, who gave her their full support and told her that she could stay with them as long as she wanted. She took an emergency pill to avoid pregnancy and finally, she was able to calm down, trusting that everything would be all right, that she would resume her profession and continue with her life as she had always done. But nothing went well because, despite everything she had done to avoid it, Catalina was pregnant with twins. The news hit her like a bucket of cold water, and she went into depression for several months. Her parents were by her side all the time, and so were friends. Everyone tried to calm her down and help her, but it was not until she was a month away from giving birth that Catalina was able to accept her reality and reconcile herself with the idea of being a mother. She achieved it because that day, in an ultrasound, she saw that her children were holding hands in the womb. They loved each other so much, even without being born, that Catalina understood that she would also love them with all the strength of her heart and she could finally wait calmly for the moment of the birth of her adorable creatures. She knew it was not going to be easy, but she had faith that the hardest part was over, namely, what she had to live through with her ex-boyfriend. Unfortunately, Catalina was wrong because no amount of pain could have prepared her for the pain a mother can feel at the prospect of losing a child. The delivery went smoothly, but minutes later the doctor told her that she should prepare herself because one of the two babies might not survive. He was smaller than normal and had been born with a very weak heart, and his heartbeat was getting slower and slower while the other baby had been born completely healthy and at his normal weight. And Catalina felt herself going crazy. When she received the news, the weaker baby could not be held in her arms because he had been taken directly to an incubator. And as she held her other son, she saw in the expression on his face that he was also suffering from feeling separated from his little brother the one he had held in his hands and with whom he had shared the wound for so long. So she asked a nurse to take the baby to the incubator with her other son, so that if it was God's will, at least the two babies could say goodbye. The nurse agreed, even though it was not allowed, and only a few minutes had passed when a supremely tender scene brought tears to her eyes. There was the healthy baby who had found a way to embrace his little brother, as if he wanted to transmit his strength to him and the miracle that no one believed possible happened. It only took a few minutes of cuddling for the baby's heart to start beating normally. It only took a couple more weeks in medical care for Catalina to leave the hospital with her two babies, completely happy, because they were both in perfect health. Love had worked a miracle, and she would never tire of giving thanks every day of her life for her two children.